Hey everyone, I'm Mike Trask at Ainsworth, and thank you for joining us for this showroom live virtual event. Uh, next 45 minutes or so, hopefully we're going to be able to take you through some of the great new content we have coming for our Class 2 and Historical Horse Racing business lines. Uh, I'll be here with you as well as our Vice President of Global Technologies, Dave Waters. Uh, we're going to take you through uh, about nine or ten of our new games, games you're going to see on your casino floors uh, in the coming weeks, months, and uh, into the next year. One quick note on this, uh, at any point below the screen right now, you will be able to chat. Uh, you can ask any questions at any point throughout the presentation. Uh, so if you want to see something again, uh, maybe there's a product you've heard about from Ainsworth that we didn't show at the end and you want to take a look at that. Uh, anything you'd like to ask, feel free to put it in the chat box. Uh, some folks are here who will be able to uh, convey your questions to the presenters. Be aware in that chat box, uh, there is uh, casinos on this call from across the country, I believe even Latin America, um, and everybody can see what you chat in. Uh, so don't give a, away the farm on that, but hopefully uh, I encourage you to ask any questions. Uh, we'll get right into it. I am standing next to our brand new beautiful A-Star Curved Cabinet. Uh, this went into some historical horse racing properties within the last 30 days or so, and will be coming to Class 2 markets uh, in early 2021. Absolutely beautiful cabinet. You're looking at a 43 inch curved screen, obviously your touch screen button deck, tons of upgrades into the performance of the cabinet, uh, as well as little things, a little USB charging port if you'd like it, dynamic edge lighting around the cabinet. So we're very excited about this. It's been introduced uh, across the country. In fact, you would have seen it at NIGA probably seven months ago. Uh, unfortunately, that did not occur, and so hopefully this gives you a chance to, for the really first time for many of you, take a close look at it. One of the titles we've launched uh, this on and will be coming to your markets in the coming months is Supercharged Sevens Classic. It is part of a two-game, three-reel, sort of mid to high DNOM set. See, this version set up is a dollar game. Uh, we make it at 25 cents and up. Uh, dollar nine line configuration's been great. Just an awesome little three reel game playing on some classic game mechanics. I'll show you one quick spin and we'll move on to some other content with Dave. Uh, but this game, everything is in this chase for the wheel. Three wheel symbols, also multipliers, will trigger the wheel. No free games, no progressive, all of the RTP put into the player chasing this high hit frequency wheel. So, Nice little win, $240 win for a player there. Uh, this is an example of three types of games we do here at Ainsworth. Uh, just before Dave takes you through a ton of his awesome concepts, just want to quick uh, talk you through where all of these games that end up on your casino floors come from. Uh, it's really three places. The first I'll talk about is feature games. Uh, these are games that Dave and his team make uh, specifically for historical horse racing or class two markets. Uh, you have some of these on your floor, you're gonna see a couple more, uh, but these are concepts that really start with Dave and his team. He has a studio that was part of a, a company called Nova Technologies, Ainsworth acquired about four years ago, and they are really built, aimed all at that class two math. Uh, we've had some examples, Any Bat Link was one of those titles. You're going to see a couple more in Ultimate Firestorm, a uh, new version of that, and an awesome multiplayer game. The second place they come from is things like this. This is a game that is ported from Class 3. So we're taking games out of our Class 3 universe that have been developed um, and performing on class three and bringing them into the class two HHR environment. 
So we're able to really pick you know, games we have uh, a lot of confidence in, we feel very good about, uh, as well as games that have performance over you know, 180 days or so, and we want to bring those over. Uh, we have some data behind that. And then the third place is sort of these clone type of titles. Uh, we call them standard games in our lingo. These are titles you're about to see one of these next in Triple Wealthy Panda. And that content that has been working out on floors, so your Dragon Heats, your Nitro Stacks, sort of making a clone, a new art package or a derivative of that to bring that to your casino floors. So hopefully that gives you a little background on where this stuff is all coming from. And Dave's going to take you over and show you some of that right now. Hi, everyone. Um, we'll talk uh, first about uh, Triple Wealthy Panda. This is uh, one of our newest games. This act game actually came from a specific request uh, out, of, uh, out of Kentucky where um, it's a, uh, a clone of Triple Wealthy Phoenix. And this is a 243 ways game. Uh, and uh, it, the, the game was doing so well that uh, they, they needed more uh, content with this math model. And I'll uh, get the feature going here. So this game is, uh, is, uh, gives, brings an Asian theme uh, to the floor, uh, again, 243 ways, uh, has free games and uh, with nesting, uh, so uh, re-triggers. Uh, so we think this will uh, we'll do very well. Uh, it's a proven math model, and uh, we look forward to this getting on your casino floor very soon. Uh, the next is uh, Panda Dynasty. Panda Dynasty is... Uh, uh, based off of the, uh, the nitro stacks mathematics. And here we have uh, a lot of stack symbols. And uh, this game is, uh, has proven uh, uh, in the, the math model has been proven, uh, you know, in all of class two in HHR. Uh, you can win up to 107 free spins on this game. Uh, so uh, it's a very high time on device game. And uh, that's uh, proven to, uh, to, to play very well uh, in all of our markets. We'll kick off a, a small free game. We won't bore you with 107 free games. Once again, the, uh, the team in uh, South Carolina have done a great job on the graphics, bringing another uh, popular Asian theme uh, to your floor. And uh, so we think that we're looking forward to this getting out there and, uh, and uh, in, in really earning for you. So we'll go past this one. And the next one we're going to talk about is Dragon's Heat. 
Uh, this is, uh, Dragon's Heat has been a, a fantastic brand uh, for us. And uh, so uh, it's one of the earlier titles that we had and we continue to expand the brand. And in this uh, iteration, what we've done is we've taken our popular proven quad shot math and we've uh, overlaid it with this uh, dragon theme that has, uh, is just a solid earner and has been a solid earner for a long time. So we're expanding the quad shot uh, brand with uh, Dragon's Heat and uh, it's got the proven mathematics behind it for uh, quad shot. So again, the, this uh, also is linked. Um, these, I forgot to mention earlier, all the games uh, are available as linked progressives. You can link them to the AnyBat. Uh, these are symbol driven on the Dragon's Heat, uh, but it's also linked to all of your quad shots on their floor. So that's, uh, that's some of the standard games. And what I'm gonna do is turn it back over to Mike for a minute and he'll take you around uh, to some of the other standards. All right. So, Ming Warrior here, an example of uh, one of our port games. Ainsworth has done high denomination content historically extremely well. Uh, if you look at things like the Eilers Report, I believe last month we had eight of the top 25 high denom games. One of those was Ming Warrior. Uh, this again, as Dave mentioned, these games can be set as progressives. Uh, this game very much early in the port process, so you'll note some, some missing items. Um, but a perfect example of us taking our top class three content, stuff that's performed for several years out there on casino floors, uh, at some of your competitors' properties, and bringing it in to the class two world. Ming Warrior, a very classic high denom, big gambler type of game. This game can be configured uh, different line selections in a very classic type of high denom free games experience. We have re-triggered it. You're seeing some line wins come up. A very exciting game. This game very much performed with those top, those big G gamblers. Um, so excited to add this to Eagle Box, Thunder Cash, some of the other games we've put out there in the Class 2 world for High Dino. I'll move right along to Joy Dragon. Joy Dragon is an exact clone of Dragon Heat. And Dragon Heat, you talk about uh, Eilers Report Performa databases. This math model behind Joy Dragon has been one of our top performing uh, for more than four years. So Dragon Heat was a game that was originally created uh, by Nova Technologies, again, a company that Ainsworth uh, acquired about four years ago. It was one of their top games uh, at that point. It remains one of their top games today. And we continue to make derivatives of this game. And we'll give you the classic free games feature. Hopefully we will. So the classic free games feature that you're going to see uh, from Dragon Heat moved over here to Joy Dragon. Retriggerable, 2x pays during those bonus spins. Pretty big two-axe wins. 
So Joy Joy Dragon, again, one of those standard games, us porting our Dragon Heats play mechanic, our Dragon Heats model, that type of play your players love, uh, putting it on some new content, some fresh art concepts, going with an Asian theme, uh, trying to give those players some additional choices. Last game on our dual screen is what we call our Lucky Stars series. An amazing series for us. The first few are out. Uh, there's Lucky Stars, Kona Tiki, uh, as well as uh, Lucky Fu Twins. These games all have a same play mechanic. Super Lucky Stars expanding on that. Uh, you will note the progressive enabled. These are typically linked with other Super Lucky Stars games. Oftentimes, talking about this growing or metamorphic pot type of feature, you will note on the left hand side here, you're seeing the growing pot across both sides on the left and right. The player's looking to get that meter to the top of the stars, sort of giving them some anticipation into when this feature is going to hit looking to catch those stars, which we'll skip ahead to. So. See them collecting the stars, let's grow the meter up to the top. Typically a really slow growth, you'll see those stars collecting. And as you go into the future, the player is looking to collect those star symbols, collecting 14 of them to win this major progressive. So as their spins go on, they collect more and more, two, three, collect that credit award, as well as trying to collect more uh, to get to the top of that feature. So this real simple collection type of feature, something that's very exciting, very popular on casino floors. This game has performed very well coming out. This series has done uh, extremely well. You can see win coming. Uh, this is a four dollar bet. See if we can get get that progressive. There's another another twenty dollar win. So down to a last spin. So we've collected tw 11 of the 14. Collect all those credit awards flying down into the player's bankroll. So super lucky stars in that lucky stars family. It is that symbol collection feature, that chase for the progressive. And then you'll note after the progressive hit, you have the meters a little bit reset. Again, player looking to grow those meters up. When they collect the stars, the meter will go off. They go into that free games and symbol collection feature. Very compelling play mechanic. I think it's uh, very well done and something players are looking for on casino floors. We're gonna take you over to a couple of single screen games. So looking into the single screen content with loaded with loot. Note that the single screen games you're seeing here will be available on that A-Star cabinet we talked about at the beginning of this. So our single screen content in the class two historical horse racing worlds in those central determination worlds will be available across platforms. So anything on a single screen you see here would also be available on that A-Star curve cabinet. Loaded with loot is another play on this symbol collection feature. Uh, hold and spin, obviously a huge concept out there in the industry. We've been actively working at finding some different ways to do that. I believe loaded with loot meets that need. And we will show you a couple of the features. Or we will not. Oh, we have a question? It says, uh, it's from Marie, and it says, oh, we love that game. Players should love its clone. Same exact gameplay is a question. So in terms of our clones, yes, the gameplay is typically identical. 
Uh, so those play mechanics you're seeing, for instance, on Super Lucky Stars, or you're seeing on Joy Joy Dragon, those features, the way the feature works and the, the mechanism of it, will be uh, identical to what you've seen on a similar product. There may be a, a, a couple of small changes in maybe the frequency, um, but generally the idea of a, the clone is to make it exactly the same or a derivative where it's very close. Uh, we want the player to recognize you know, that Super Lucky Stars plays a lot like Lucky Stars or that Joy Joy Dragon plays a lot like Dragon Heat. We are picking those based on uh, what we think players, uh, what we see both data-wise, talking to players, talking to our, our customers about what players are looking for, trying to provide more of that content. Another perfect example kind of, of a, a port title here is a game called Afterburner 7s, and it is in our Quick Spin family. So you have seen Supercharged Sevens Classic, you've seen uh, a number of our wheel games, Again, continuing to play on that quick spin with, uh, with Afterburner 7s. Uh, adding a little bit of volatility to the wheel based on, compared to what you've seen on some of the original titles, you'll see up to 25x on the wheel spin. Some of the originals uh, were only up to 5x, so a little more volatility in the wheel and the amount a player can win. What we have not changed is the frequency of the wheel. Quick spin wheel products we believe work so well across markets uh, based on the fact that that wheel is going to spin about every 56 plays. And that is across any of our quick spin wheel games from the three reel game to our, our multiplay version we've done. What we do is play with some of the volatility and some of the wheel wedges, um, but not the frequency of the wheel. So let's see if we can get a wheel feature. There's a wheel symbol, so six or more wheels awards a, a wheel. Uh, seven would give you two X, eight would give you five X, and so forth. Quick wheel spin bonus. So there is your win on Afterburner 7s. We also offer a free games within Afterburner 7s during free games uh, on all of our quick spin games. The wheel's still active during free games. You'll see the uh, plain symbol during this is a revealing wild. I'm sorry, a revealing symbol. So, uh. so quick revealing symbol feature. Again, the, the wheel remains active during the free games feature. The original question from Marie was in reference to Panda Dynasty. Oh, uh, so Marie asked uh, the original question I answered before was Panda Dynasty. Um, and yes, Panda Dynasty is based on that Nitro Stacks play mechanic. Uh, so that is, again, trying to use those mechanics and those game models uh, that we know players are familiar with, they have some history with, and adding uh, some cool new art. So yes, the play mechanic should be very familiar to those players out there. We're going to go around the other side and turn it back over to Dave, who's going to show you two awesome games. Uh, these are his feature games that his and his group have been working so hard on. I remind you, please, any questions you'd like to ask, you can type in the chat box. And These are the last two games, uh, but Dave and I will hang out for a couple minutes afterwards. Uh, if you have anything you'd like to see again, or, or again, any product you may have heard about, you'd take to, like to take a look at, or just general questions. Uh, we'll hang out a little bit after these final two games. Thanks. Thanks, Mike. 
So what we've, done, we've got here is uh, Ultimate uh, Firestorm series. This is the live wire uh, version of this. So uh, this game has been uh, very popular. Live wire is a brand, again, that uh, we had uh, at Nova Gaming uh, for uh, many years, uh, and it's got a following. And uh, so we've added a five-tier progressive. Uh, there, this is one of three games in a series. Uh, of the Ultimate uh, Firestorm series. Um, very high time on device, um, and uh, you get uh, a quick play, and if you get the, the Firestorms uh, in a, if we can get a demo going here, um, you get three of them, and then you get a respin. And uh, so it'll respin the reels and, uh, and pay you uh, the pay, uh, uh, four, uh, four times. So uh, if you get five of them, uh, then uh, you go into the free games. We'll show that in just a second. We'll get our free games going. So four in the free games, five will give the big wheel spin. Expand the reels up so the player gets more chances to win, more lines in play. And again, as Mike uh, mentioned earlier, this will be available on A Star in uh, early 2020. Be, uh, addition, additionally, although we don't have them all loaded up in here, we have two other Firestorm um, uh, series uh, games that will be coming out uh, where we feature the, the wheel bonus uh, on the main screen. You see it's got the sticky wilds. And then we'll see the, the big wheel bonus. So five takes you to the big wheel bonus. And here, one of the things we've done is we, we allow the player to move the wheel around. So if they find a lucky spot, they say, well, I want to start it here because oh no I want to I want to start right there on that five hundred dollars they can move it around before they spin it and then they can spin the wheel so it gives the uh, the player uh, more interaction with the game oh come on oh we got the little one but so next time I'll move it when, I'll adjust it before I spin it so we have a question. Yes, uh, so uh, all of the games that we're featuring today are available in Class 2 and uh, uh, HHR. So, um, yeah, it's, it's absolutely available. So, all right. So we're going to move over to this game. This is, uh, again, when you're using our Dragon's Heat brand, um, because it's such a popular brand, we said, what else can we do with it that would be unique and interesting? This, is, this game is one of a kind uh, in the industry and uh, we're very excited about it. We think it's going to, uh, to be a very big earner for you. But what we've done is we've taken the tried and proven uh, uh, math model of, uh, of Quad Shot, and we said, well, Quad Shot is very popular, but it has a little bit higher volatility. So how can we offer the player a little more variety and volatility with a good proven math model? So we've taken the concept of a multiplay game. We've used quad shot in it. So you get uh, quad shot math, four progressives, four quadrants uh, to play in. 
So if you're playing with a single quadrant, um, you're essentially playing uh, quad shot math. But we've done something very unique in the industry. Usually, if I play one quadrant, I'll pay 40 cents in this case. If I want to play two quadrants, it would be 80 cents. But this game features descending costs. So as you enable each of the quadrants, you'll be paying less for each one of them. So in this case, it's 40 cents to play one, but it's only 30 more credits to activate the second one. So we can double our, we can double our, <laughs> our play um, for less than double the cost. So then we can play it here. And now we're, what we're doing is we're softening the volatility a little bit. Now we've got two of them in play. And now if I want to add the third one, it's only 20 credits more to, to add the third quadrant. And then lastly, you can enable the, la the, the last quadrant for only 10 cents more. So, um, you know, what they're doing now is on a 40 cents game, they're getting f uh, four plays, but it only costs a dollar to play that. So in that case, you get the, the maximum, uh, uh, you get the maximum uh, action on the game and it softens the volatility. So from a hit frequency standpoint, um, the, if you're playing one, it's pretty much uh, quad shot. It is exactly quad shot uh, volatility. But by the time you've enabled all the, uh, the quadrants, you're about two and a half times uh, uh, the, the, the hit frequency that you would get in, uh, in quad shot. You get two and a half times more hits. This game is, plays like quad shot, so it has a free game feature, and we'll do a a quick version of that. And when you go into free games on this, you can win free games in each of the quadrants. But when we play the free games, we're gonna bring up a single uh, game that looks just like quad shot. And if you win on multiple quadrants, then when you go into here, you'll get uh, additional free games. So if you won free, 10 free games in two quadrants, you'll come in here and get 20 free games. Also, we have uh, re-triggers. It has very frequent re-triggering in this game. So again, this is uh, we're very excited about this game, and uh, we look forward to getting it out on your floors very soon. All right, I will uh, turn it back over to Mike. All right, that is a cool game concept. Uh, so thank you all for coming on, spending uh, 30, 40 minutes with us. Uh, you know, there's no G2E. We've all taken on uh, a million roles. Uh, you know, some of you are probably teachers at home, in addition to our full-time roles like myself. Uh, so thank you for taking time out of your day to uh, hop on and join us. Uh, Dave and I will hang out for a little bit. We will leave the feed live. If there's any questions at all on anything Ainsworth, we are happy to answer them. Um, but hopefully that gave you a look uh, at some of our upcoming product for Class 2 and historical horse racing markets. A-Star Curve is coming soon. All of the stuff we just showed you on the single screen, including that super cool Dragon Heat, blazing hot progressive, uh, will be available on that A-Star cabinet. We believe it's going to look great. 
uh, and hopefully perform even better on your casino floor. Anything else in the chat? So nothing in the chat. Uh, so Dragon Heat Blazing Hot Progressives, it, uh, at a penny game, yes, it would be a $10 max bet. So at min bet, uh, it would be a 40 credit min bet to play one reel. To play all four reels at min bet, it would be $1. So 40, 30, 20, 10 to get you to that dollar if you were playing that min bet. At max bet, uh, yes. So multiply by 10 essentially so all four at max bet you could play for four dollars or at max bet across all four reels loading them up would be a ten dollar bet yes all right again thank you so much uh, for joining us thank you to dave for hopping down and showing off some of his new stuff uh, we greatly appreciate your time and partnership uh, and if you want to send this video uh, to anyone else, it will be distributed through your Ainsworth account executive, uh, and you'll be able to grab any follow-ups from them. Signing off for now. Thank you so much.